Hey, it's uh, January 26, 2009. It's a Monday. It's uh, really cold outside. It snowed last night. And it's supposed to snow again tonight and into tomorrow, I think. Um, supposedly, this is the uh, largest snowfall we're going to have uh, so far this year in Indiana. So, uh, yeah really looking forward to that. Um, I've had the weekend off and today um, from work, so tomorrow I go back. So, you know, snow's coming just in time for uh, for me to make that drive to work. Anyway, um, like I said, I had today off. Uh, I spent my morning getting my eyes checked, because I hadn't done that in a while. Um, yeah, I... Uh, beginning new contacts. Um, they dilated my eyes this morning and actually they're still kind of big. I wonder if I can zoom in show you my massively dilated pupils. Yeah, nice and slow. Eh, they're not as big as what they were. So, anyway. But I think you can see that they're still kind of dilated. So, yeah. So yeah, it's been an exciting day so far. Anyway, yeah, let's get off of that. Um, so, today's topic, um, and what I'm choosing to do for my second video, is answer the question of why. Why would someone um, in his mid-30s decide to transition? Um, I think it's probably a question a lot of people, um, would ask themselves, um, when confronted with someone like me, and to be honest, it's a question that I've asked myself plenty of times. Um, it just seems, you know, a little bit strange, I think, to people that once you're at this point of life, that you're willing to make this big of a change um, you know I think people expect once you're in your uh, mid 30s you're going to be established one way or another um, established in your career established in your personal life you know something and um, as they suspect you know transitioning um, will change things quite a bit you know you may have to change careers afterwards. You may um, have to change social groups. You know, you may lose family and friends. Um, it's, a, it's a big decision. Why would somebody do that? Um, some people would say that um, it's not a matter of deciding to do this. It's not a choice. Um, I disagree with that it is a choice. Uh, regardless of how many times it may appear in like TG fiction, nobody's gonna kidnap you along the street and force you to change to the other sex. Uh, that just doesn't happen. So, you know, we choose um, to undergo this process. Now, I don't want it to seem like I'm making light of that though because, you know, say when you're having chest pains, well, you make a choice whether or not to go to the doctor and have that seen about, you know. Um, you know, I think it's similar. Now, a lot of people might say, well, you know, you're not going to die from this like you would from, you know, uh, possible chest pains, heart attack. Um, and while I agree that it's, you know, not as direct a result, I think that not dealing with this is kind of a death sentence. Um, you will probably hear or read somewhere, um, if you look into this, that the transgender suicide rate is about 50%. Um, 
from what I've seen um, and read elsewhere, that's kind of a myth that was um, taken from a study, what well, was misread, um, and it's, it's not true. Um, now what is true apparently is that the transgender suicide rate uh, tends to be five times that of the normal suicide rate, which is pretty substantial, I mean five times. That means there's something there. Um, it means there's a lot of, a lot of pain there. Um, that people are trying to deal with. Um, but I think it even goes beyond that when I'm talking about um, it being a death sentence. What I think is, if you don't deal with this, at least, you know, from my own experience, you're going to engage in things that very well could eventually lead to your death. Um, for me, it was uh, drinking to excess. Um, well, that's it's amongst other things, but that was you know the biggest one. I was I was drinking a lot, you know, because I wasn't happy most of the time. And, uh, you know, drinking kind of, uh, yeah, it alleviated that for a little while. Um, and pretty much when I drank, I drank till I passed out and, uh, blacked out. 